to the matters. The House comes to questions for oral answer. Question number one in the name of Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is for the Prime Minister. Did he, as Minister of Finance in 2010, tell Major Campbell Roberts of the Salvation Army that Auckland faced a looming housing crisis? If so, why? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett, on behalf of the Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I don't recall exactly what was said in many conversations with um, Major Campbell Roberts all that seven years ago. We've always acknowledged that housing is a challenge and we've been working hard to increase supply. I would note that at the time of that conversation with Major Roberts, around 3,000 houses a year were being built in Auckland. That figure is now 10,000 houses. And since 2010, we've seen the new unitary plan, special housing areas, permanent funding for emergency housing, housing infrastructure fund, more tools for the Reserve Bank, the Crown Building Programme in Auckland, all part of a range of measures that the government is doing to address those Supplementary. Issues. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Does he accept that Major Campbell Roberts of the Salvation Army is telling the truth? Mr the, Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett, on behalf of the Prime Minister. On behalf of the Prime Minister, as I've indicated, I can't remember the exact conversation from seven years ago. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. If he knew there was a housing crisis in 2010 but concealed it, why doesn't he now accept that we have a housing crisis, given that Auckland house prices have nearly doubled since 2010? And we have now what the Salvation Army calls the worst homelessness in living memory. That's right. The Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett, on behalf, on of, the behalf Prime of the Minister. Prime Minister, back in 2010, I then, as the Minister of Finance, actually called together a group predominantly from Auckland, including Major Campbell, to predominantly look at social housing, the, um, the reforms that needed to happen there, concerns around uh, what was happening with the accommodation supplement, as well as the income-related rent, um, houses being uh, state houses being the monopoly of government and actually wanting to see community um, housing organisations come in. So we've always appreciated uh, Major Robert's contribution um, to housing in New Zealand and particularly with government and those reforms. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. Does he agree with a high profile New Zealander who said that the home affordability quote crisis had reached quote dangerous levels and, quote, looks to get worse and, quote, threatens our economy. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. I don't oh, sorry, the Honourable Paula Bennett. On I'm not known for Minister. agreeing with Winston Peters. <laughs> Point of order. Point of order, Dennis O'Rourke. I seek leave to table the text of a speech given on 21 August 2007 by John Key, which contains the quotes I mentioned. I suspect it's relatively public available, but I will put the leave. Leave us sort to table that particular speech. Is there any objection? There is objection. Further supplementary? Supplementary, supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Dancing on his grave. Does the Prime Minister agree with Paula Bennett when she said, for those people without a house, quote, it is a crisis without doubt, unquote? Well, Mr. The, Speaker. Um, Honourable Paula Bennett, on behalf of the Prime Minister. On behalf of the Prime Minister, I do normally agree with Paula Bennett because she is generally right, but not always. Um, what I would. Yeah, what I would say is that um, for individuals um, that don't have housing, it is without a doubt a real challenge for them and something that this side of the House is absolutely counted on. We are the first government to actually put money into emergency housing organisations and make sure that they are funded. We are actually committed to 34,500 new homes over the next 10 years. And I note that this site, that actually with the announcement from Amy Adams, that we will see 12,000 new homes in Auckland over the next three years, those homes we've got the land for, we know where they're being built. However, I see announcement by Labour on the TV yesterday morning that they weren't planning to do a 15,000 homes as part of their building the programme throughout conclusion. the whole country, and so they actually bring can't deliver. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. If the Prime Minister agrees with Paula Bennett that um, one person without a house is a crisis for them, 
Does he agree that 41,000 homeless people and hundreds of thousands of New Zealanders living in housing stress and a generation of young Kiwis locked out of the housing market adds up to a housing crisis? Mr. The Speaker, Honourable Paula Bennett on behalf uh, of the Prime Minister. The, chain, the differences in the two sides of the House. While you argue about language, we'll get on with the action of actually delivering for New Zealanders. Supplementary. <laughs> order. 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 The um, supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Can he reassure the House that the Salvation Army won't, under the government's Ngaro doctrine, face funding cuts or other pressure to shut down criticism of this government's failed housing policy? Mr. The Speaker, Honourable Paula Bennett, on behalf as a Christian, um, Christian organisation, they'll accept an apology, unlike that side of the House. Oh, a supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Isn't the truth that he has denied there's a housing crisis and done as little as possible about it? That's right. Because, as former Prime Minister John Key said, he thought that many Aucklanders were feeling wealthier because of rising housing prices. Mr. The Honourable Paul Speaker, Bennett, on behalf of the Prime I Minister. will any day, at any moment, put our housing policy, our record of what we have accomplished on this side of the House, up against yours, Mr. Twyford. So, for example, our our building programme that was just recently announced had 12,000 houses in Auckland. Over the next three years, these houses are fully funded and plans are already in place, Order. as opposed to a rushed announcement on the AM show Order. yesterday Order. of 15... Order. There is simply no point in continuing answering the question when the people who ask the question are not interested in listening to the answer. Question number two, Catherine Delahunty. Mr Speaker.